all your toppers valuable points like the books you have to refer outside ncrt the short notes is provided in my telegram channel given in the description ditch all you need is ncrt okay you don't believe me you want me to prove okay take the past 7 years question paper how many question is from outside 1 2 Three, four, five. Yeah, maybe maximum five from the past seven year question papers. For that one question out of one eighty, how much time you are wasting? Look, look, look! You don't have a single minute to waste for this mean twenty twenty five. You got it? Analyze what you are doing as you don't have a single minute to waste. If I'm utilizing this time for this, it's not useful. Then go to hell. If you are weak in a chapter, you have to build the concept, and you are watching a YouTube video for that. Okay, useful. If a random YouTuber is telling, like, I have the short notes in my Telegram channel. Okay, go and check it. If it's useful, if it's entirely line by line, okay, you can take it. If it's not, just don't waste time there. You don't have time. That is your prime thing up to the mid twenty twenty five. Actually, you don't even need that. You don't. You don't need short notes actually from these random guys. And all. You only need two things: a mindset shift and a body shift. So what's a mindset shift? Oh, I only have two months for this exam. Think about your parents. Think about how you survived all these months, and you can still do it. Or even if you have just started. Okay, I have time for a good score. Because I know something, I have to arrange it, and I can do this thing. You know, when you sit to study, everything else become interesting around you. So you have to decide whether I'm depressed, unmotivated, even getting 200 marks. I am doing this work for the next two months, whatever it is. At any cost, I'm doing this. I'm putting my work because I have the whole time in the world after these two months. The second one, the body shift. Why I'm feeling so dizzy? Why I'm feeling so tired? Why I'm always dozing off? Why I'm feeling sleepy? Because you are sitting sedentary, especially if you're an online student. You know, you will be always sitting in a place doing your work, and you're feeling sleepy. So move your body a little bit in the morning or in the evening. I prefer morning. So now the major part. So you don't have time to hear all this blah blah blah. So this would be a very short and crisp on each subject. First, biology. Read line by line. Do the P Y Qs. And if there is any question bank, like they have the line by line questions and Q Qs, they do that. You should have short notes for specific things that you forget. For example, animal kingdom. So you have many things to remember, like which is monoecious, which is dioecious. It's very important to remember the examples for these animal plant kingdoms because they last like as the following statements. So it will be difficult. So you should have short notes for the particular things that you seems to forget. Now coming to chemistry, you can divide into three: the physical chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry. So physical chemistry, do all the MCQs from your MCQ. You should have a short note for an organic. If you don't, there is another way. So you are studying a chapter today. You have to revise the same chapter day after tomorrow, and again a five days after that. It should be in your mind, like it should be registered in your mind. If you don't have a short note, at least you should have a small note of the exceptions, the trends, the things that have been repeatedly asked in the previous years. That's it. Then comes organic chemistry. Just as biology, people are overdoing organic chemistry. Stop it. I'm not talking about JE or any other exam. I'm talking about NEET. The organic chemistry, it's safe. It's safe with your NCERT. Study your NCERT. Do your NCERT problems. Do the previous MCQs. That's more than enough. And revise these things. Just don't study stuffs. 
What I mean by just study NCERT, you have to know everything in that organic chemistry, every reaction at any time. If I ask you, you have to. That should be your level of understanding and that should be your level of hard working. Then NCERT is sufficient, more than enough. You got me? Then comes our hero, physics. So talking about physics, you should have what? An equation book. Chapter by chapter, you should have an equation book. Equation book means only equation, not a short note book, okay? And if you're struggling while doing problems of a particular chapter or a particular topic, you have to fix that by yourself. Maybe you should watch a good YouTube video for fixing that concept, or you should seek help to your teachers for that particular topic. For example, for me, fluid dynamics and current electricity was very confusing. Confusing in the sense like I constantly made mistakes in these chapters. So what I did was I decided I will give myself some time for these chapters and uh, I just used some YouTube videos and my coaching institute had an app. It was available by classes by different teachers. So for one chapter, there would be like um, 12 to 16 videos and I watched everything. Fix your problem. How? There are three steps in physics. Fix your concept. Do level one problems. Do level two problems. Correct these problems. Redo these problems. Revise these problems. Then do level three. That's it. And don't leave these theory questions from physics. For that, you only need the PYQs. Okay? So what's my advice to you guys? Be selfish. Be selfish for the upcoming two months because this is your life. Nobody can write the exam. Nobody can do that for you. You have to do if you want. That's it. Your 12 year old you will be proud of you. Only think about him. Only think about her.